Kalani versus Smith. Council, state your appearances. All right. And where are we? I received photographs, I believe, by Mr. Friedman that were sent in. I just received these just before court. I've given a copy of these to uh, Mr. Friedman. Okay. Is there going to be a dispute? or? There is a dispute. Okay. And what's the dispute? Well, Your Honor, I will agree that the defendant technically applied with the, complied with the court order, but certainly not the spirit of the court order. All right. In March 27th, was the order, they asked for additional time, 45 days, so they could re-engineer the gate. Okay. And nothing was done about re-engineering the gate. So when they took out 15 feet, I, we did not know there was a chain link fence on the other side. They did take out the 10 slats, but the purpose was from the beginning of this case was to restore access that existed for 90 years at least, or at least most of the access to the backyard. So if you leave that fence, that chain link that you see there, it defeats the reason for taking out the 20 feet that was ordered by the court. No, it doesn't. Well, it's right in the middle of what would be the access if that's what we move. Well, that's his gate. Well, I know. That's the gate. Yes, but it's within the 20 feet that was supposed to be removed. See the black mark? You can, he did take out. I have. I see the black mark. That's where the, the fence, the 10 sections were. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. The, the real issue was access to the back of the property. Unimpeded access to the backyard, yes. Right. So the the location of the privacy fence, the wooden fence, may have impeded that. I then ordered a specific amount taken out so that that was not an issue. How does that chain link fence impede? It was that chain link fence was behind the 10 boards that were at order to be removed. I, I just have to say it's not a chain link fence. It's, it goes it goes across Mr. Smith's driveway. It's his gate. I know. I, I am. They were given 45 days to re-engineer that. OK, so hold on. What you're really complaining about is a pole. In the, yes, in the sense that, that if that gate is, if that post and the gate stays where it is, then you still have to maneuver around it. Whereas you maneuver around it to do what? To get to, into the backyard. Oh, no, that's oh, my, get into the backyard my, with what? What are you driving into the backyard? Okay, I have this. Why did we remove 20 feet? If because the wooden fence came up on that one side so close to the house. I mean, that that pole is so far back that it doesn't. I mean, at some point, any vehicle going in at some point has to turn. And when I was looking at it and when I went out there, the turn was going to be the problem because it was almost with the fence was up. It was almost like you were going into a tunnel. So turning, getting past um, Mr. Kalani's house is. Hang on a quick second. OK, it, turning past um, Mr. Kalani's home would potentially be a tight fit. This is not. It's not a tight fit. That's a 5,000 pound SUV that's got three feet of room on each side. The 
this is a different photo that I didn't copy to Mr. Friedman that I will gladly. It is now a gate in the middle of nowhere. Are you going to put something? Okay. Up? I mean, I, you know, is now going to put chain link? Oh. I'm not here to decorate his property. Okay. I'm I'm just saying okay. what the what the ultimate issue was was access to the back. Now, if you're telling me that as it's been laid out, there's no access to the back, then tell me that. It's not that there's no access, Your Honor. It's that the spirit of removing, had I known when we were here on May 15th that that would still be up, I would have included in the request to have that removed. Your Honor, I'd like, there is an ongoing problem with Mr. Smith and Mr. Kalani. I would like before that Mr. Kalani have be allowed to testify as to what transact what's transpired today. No. Do what? I mean we, transpired was okay, look. Last time we were here, everybody was complaining about how many slats. I remember very clearly, because I counted nine, supposed to be ten. Okay, so I take ten slats out. That's been done. I also, when we were here, talked about Mr. Smith's harassing. And today, Mr. Smith. I don't. I don't want to go down that road, Your Honor. I, I do because this is an ongoing dispute. It's, a, it's not part of this lawsuit, and I don't want to hear about my client swearing at your client. Well, shouldn't you? Well, then you can file a police report for ethnic intimidation. Do what he wants. He threatened to shoot my client. It did not. In any event, Your Honor, I don't think it's I don't have a criminal case before me. True. Let me just say this. And I'll presume that Mr. Kalani would get up and say that. What would you have me do? Remove this, or at least move this gate post back, even with where the 20 foot mark was. Because that would stop the language or behavior. Well, actually, How? to tell you the truth, Your Honor, I would like to have gone back to my original request. I'm not going there. I, I, I made my I know. ruling. I know. I'm, hold on. You want to bring up something where allegedly Mr. Smith is yelling at Mr. Kalani. And I'm asking a specific question. If I even say that that what you said here was said, what do you want me to do? I mean, because at the end, after I hear the testimony, you're going to want me to do something that I would imagine would be directed at stopping that from happening. So what would, if that came up, what would you have me do? Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. There's nothing you could say or do that would stop Mr. Smith from harassing my client. Okay, I will agree with you on that. What I hope to come from today is that you would order that fence post back to equal with the 20 foot mark, because that was the intent was to open that up. Had I known that that fence, po the, the gate was there, Back on March 27th, when you first ordered this, they asked for the time so they could re-engineer. Hold on a second. When we were here the last time, I think I still have the photos. That photo was, that piece is there. I mean, there's, there, there's no new evidence there, here. There's really just a post that's there. All right. so I mean, if he if he closed that half of the gate, then I guess I'm presuming what you're trying to say is that obstruction is just that post. And I don't see how that obstructs the backyard. Or access to the backyard. Had I known but that post was not attached to the remaining five feet. I would well, Miss Barton. I, I well, Miss Barton. If I'm 
looking at the photos from the last time that we were here. And when I look at those photos, I can certainly tell that post is not attached to the fence. The photos I had, I, I can see that half of the gate is visible. I think that when she's talking about the spirit of this and the spirit of that, I think it is worth mentioning that earlier on, much earlier on, we talked about the fact that the removal of that going too far back was going to Im impact on that gate and on his privacy. And that the, the goal was to have the fence, the stockade fence end at the back of his property so that he could secure that gate, which he can't right now. My contractor literally called me yesterday and said, why am I taking out these five feet? They don't, they're not in the way of anything. And I said, you're taking them out because there's a court order for them to come out and they need to come out. But th so that's the answer to your question. You, the, my client is ordered to take that five feet out. So you're taking it out. Okay. 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 I'll take the five feet out, but it doesn't make any difference. It's not in the way of anything. So when he, I went over there to see, and he took the five feet out and that's when I pulled the big SUV in there. And it's like, <laughs> why? It, it, it doesn't, it, I could, I could turn around that, that vehicle four times in that backyard. There's no, it doesn't, it's, it's irrelevant. So as far as the spirit of the order is concerned, it was satisfied with the 15 feet. And now he's got to figure out what to do with that gate. But in any event, um, he complied with your order of last week. Yeah. That he complied with the the aspect of taking ten slats, but the it was my understanding, and I was wrong, that that gate was attached to the five feet. I didn't realize it was a separate post. I did not know that, Your Honor. All right, look. If what Mr. Smith says is correct, that he's looking to secure that back part of his property with the gate that's there. The grand reality is, if Mr. Smith is correct in that, is that he's going to move that post. He's going to he's going to somehow or another do something else with that gate. But it's the gate from very beginning. I knew the gate was there. And I knew when the last time we were here that that post that the hinge basically, was there. And I knew, I, I'm looking at the photos from last time to see, just to even give some benefit of doubt as to whether or not I would believe that that was, you know, just based on some distortion that somehow or another, that that post is somehow attached to the wood fence. I had no, <laughs> that I did not think it was attached because it's not. I, I, I'm, I was mistaken. I thought it was attached. And that would be an error on my part, Your Honor. But if he's going to move the, if he intends to secure and move the post, that will be fine. If he leaves it there, and then what? If he puts up additional fencing from the post, okay, look, look, I don't know what's going to happen. Look, look, I, don't look, look. I issued an order. I then, the parties were back. We went through painstakingly what needed to be removed of that wooden fence mr smith has complied with that I and know. so unless because i still have jurisdiction over it if you really want to do it then you file a motion they can answer it and i'll deal with it but there's nothing before me right now he did exactly what i asked him to do i will agree with that your honor Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.